What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Yesterday's hotfix had an absolute massive change uh, to walls in the game. More importantly, the arcane barrier from The Apprentice. Now this is uh, something that's going to be extremely useful for new players in the game as it kind of removes the need to have reflect beams as you're early and starting off in the game. Now, uh, of course, we all know it's all about Chaos 6, right? Chaos 6 is the hex thrower enemy. Uh, the change to these arcane barriers made it so that, uh, well, previously the change to arcane barriers made it so any projectile that hit the arcane barrier instantly exploded. And this was still an issue because of hex throwers. Now, hex throwers um, throw their javelin. Normally it would pierce. It's no longer piercing, but it was still leaving the curse on the ground. Uh, the curse can be quite large and it is pretty huge for smacking your defenses down. So uh, here we are in Chaos 6. So we get a lot of hex throwers. Obviously, I'm way overpowering the content, but I just kind of want to show off uh, what happens with the hex thrower bolts now. Uh, so you see we got some puffer fish placed uncomfortably close to some arcane barriers. This, uh, without a doubt, would be a bad build um, as the cleave damage and then the curse damage previously would just completely decimate this build. Uh, however, let's let it fly and take a look at what those hex throwers can do now. Now, of course, the start of the wave here is just going to get burned through. Uh, we should have nothing but hex throwers and javelin throwers left here in just a moment. Uh, however, we are going to have to let these guys um, thin out here and get to that point. So we don't have enough range to hit the hex throwers. Uh, I did that on purpose just so we could see um, those hex thrower curses not doing anything. So this really changes uh, my personal opinion on what hero a new player should get first, as you just don't need it to be the EV anymore. The EV is still a solid choice, without a doubt, and then the EV has some incredible utility that is available later in the day, or later in the game. Uh, however, just no longer a this is the go-to hero. Now, what this means as a brand new player is you can unlock a hero that's going to make your journey a lot easier instead of going to the EV first. Like, the EV for a brand new player completely trivialized Chaos 6, uh, making Chaos 6 so it's just kind of a no-brainer to get through. Uh, here we go. We're down to uh, nothing but uh, the Draken and some Hex Throwers now. Uh, we see those Hex Throwers throwing. Their Javelins are being destroyed and there are no curses being placed on the ground. Um, as I mentioned previously, this would have been an enormous issue. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and swap these out for um, a different blockade type. And I will show you, or actually we can just let them throw out the puffer fish uh, without the arcane barrier. Oh, no, they died off. We're going to have to wait for one more wave here. But let's go ahead and throw some different blockades down so you can see the difference uh, with those two setups. Let me get them nice and uncomfortably close uh, once again. Uh, that way we know there's not going to be any issues. So now we got some werewolves here. Let's check out the werewolves in action as, instead. Now once again, we're going to have to wait for uh, the start of the lane to thin out here and just burn off. And then you can see the difference between what the arcane barrier offers versus any other wall. Now, in addition, uh, with this in mind, making the arcane barrier so good against projectiles, there, of course, is a shard as well that will reduce projectile damage. And here you see the curse, the big shadow on the ground. You see all our defenses are cursed. And that is just going to keep stacking up heavier and heavier uh, using the regular werewolf walls. So good stuff to be had here with the arcane barrier. Um, I don't think this is going to make any real changes to end game metas, but I think for a new player that doesn't have heroes unlocked, the arcane barrier is going to be a go to uh, without a doubt uh, in Dungeon Defenders 2 right now. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. And I will see you all next time around. Take it easy.